Now that you're able to connect microphones and instruments to your Scala, we're going to show you how to record them using Reaper. In this tutorial, I'm joined by the fantastic Grace George, who's going to be performing a section of one of her tracks for us to record. We're going to record Grace's performance in one take, capturing vocals and electroacoustic guitar. We'll be using the Scarlet Studio CM25 microphone to capture the vocals, and we'll be plugging Grace's electroacoustic guitar directly into the Scarlet to capture that as well. In this tutorial, we're using the Scarlet 2i2, but these steps will work with whatever Scarlet you have because we're just using the first two inputs. And you don't have to use the exact combination of microphones and instruments that we're using in this tutorial. You can use the information in the previous video to connect the microphones or instruments that you want to record. Using an XLR cable, connect the microphone to input one of the Scarlet and then turn on phantom power to ensure that this condenser microphone gets the power required to work. Next, connect the electroacoustic guitar to input two of the Scarlet. Then set this input to instrument mode as we demonstrated in the previous video. For the Scarlet Solo and 2i2, this can be done by pressing the button on the front panel so the inst lights up. And for the 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 and 18i20, open Focusrite control, go to inputs and switch input two from line to inst mode. Now play through your performance and adjust the gain dials to set the recording levels. Ensure that the gain halos are lighting up green, not yellow or red, as we explained in the previous video. If you're using a Scarlett Solo or a 2i2, then ensure that direct monitoring is turned on by pressing the direct monitor button once. If you're using a 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 or 18i20, then this will already be set up by default. Turn up the volume for your headphones until you can hear the microphones and instruments that you have plugged in. If you have speakers connected to your Scarlett, please use the monitor dial to turn down your speakers while recording in order to avoid feedback. On the Scarlett Solo, the monitor dial controls the speakers and the headphones, and we still want to use the headphones, so you'll need to turn off your speakers to record. Earlier, we showed you how to set your Scarlett as the audio device in Reaper. This tells Reaper that the Scarlett is the device that we want to use for audio input and output. To recap that, go to Options, Preferences. In the menu on the left-hand side, find Audio and select Device just below. On a PC, set the audio system to ASIO and then select Focusrite USB ASIO. On a Mac, select your Scarlett in the Audio Device drop-down menu. Now, let's create two audio tracks to record onto, one for the vocals and one for the guitar. Right-click in the empty dark grey space here and select Insert New Track. Repeat this step so that you have two tracks. Double-click in this grey space on the first track and rename this Vocals. Repeat this on the second track and rename this Guitar. Now we need to tell those audio tracks where they'll be receiving audio from. You'll remember that we plugged the microphone into input 1 of the Scarlet, so click in the Vocals track and ensure that input 1 is selected just here. Next, we plug the guitar into input two of the Scarlet. So click on the guitar and ensure that input two is selected. The final thing to do before we record is record arm these two tracks. Click on both of these record arm buttons so that they're both red like so. You're now ready to record. Press the record button in the top bar just here to start recording. You can then hit spacebar to stop recording once you're finished. Hey. Hey. 
Just look at what you could have had as I'm walking away. Here comes the realization that you, you made a mistake. And when you see me, if you don't know what to do, just remember, baby, I'm better than you. Once you've finished recording, press spacebar to stop the recording and select save all. There we go, you can now record microphones and instruments into Reaper using your Scarlett. I'm now going to show you how to do a basic mix of your recording. Press W for whiskey on your keyboard to return to the start of the project and spacebar will now be your play and stop control. You can control the volume of each of these recordings by clicking and dragging these volume faders. To reset any of the controls to their default setting, like the volume fader for example, double click on it. You can also add effects to the recordings that you've just captured. I'm going to show you how to put some reverb on the vocals. Click on the FX button on the vocals track and type reverbate into the filter bar on this window. You can now see the reverb plugin that you've just loaded onto this vocal track. You can select presets just up here, like the intimate vocal, for example. Your presets may look different to mine depending on which version of Reaper you're using. Now, to be clear, you need to select a preset before you'll hear any reverb. Then, the only control that you need to use in here is the wet fader. This allows you to control how much reverb is being applied to the vocals. Minus infinity means you're hearing no reverb and bringing the fader up will be applying more reverb to your vocals. You can then close this reverb plugin by clicking the cross in the corner. And if you want to open the plugin again to make some adjustments, then click on the FX button on this vocal track again. You can experiment with adding more effects from these menus like delay, EQ and more. You can now progress on from this video and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.